Now that you know how the text tool works, let's talk about text runs. Runs allow us to break up our text into sections. Typically, we use this when we want to apply a variety of styles or modifiers to a single text block. To see all the runs that we currently have associated with our text object, we need to go to the hierarchy and we can expand the text object and you'll notice that we have one run underneath it. Let's say, for example, we want to change the color of Marty in this sentence. Well, if we select our text object and simply change the color of it, you'll notice that everything in that text box is changing color. Instead, what we need to do is create a text run specifically for Marty. To do that, if we select Marty here in the text object, you'll see that we have this option pop up here, run from selection. When we hit that button, if we go back to our text object and look again at our runs, you'll see that we have multiple runs now. Welcome is its own run, Marty is its own run, and to your profile is its own run. Now we can add a new style, change the color, and apply this to Marty. To apply this style to Marty, we simply need to click on this button here and select Run 2. You'll now see that Marty is a different color than the other two runs. This will apply to all other style properties as well. There are a variety of ways that you can manage your text run. Let's say, for example, we click on Run 2, which is our Marty text run. You can see that up in the top, we have a text value. We can change this value to anything that we want. Let's say, for example, we want to change the name to Lauren. Now it says, Welcome Lauren to your profile. You can even animate this property. So let's say, for example, we want to start with Lauren and then maybe 30 seconds in, we change it to Pedro. And then at the end, we change it to Bill. Now, if we play back our animation, you'll see that it stays at Lauren, changes to Pedro, and then goes to Bill. We can also access this run at runtime to change the name dynamically. If we want to do that, though, we need to make sure that we change the name of our run. So let's call this name. Now, the text value is accessible at runtime, so you can change this in your app, game, or website. We have a few other options underneath the text value. We have edit text run, which if we click on that, will bring us into the inspector and allow us to edit that run. We can also merge our run with the next run or with the previous run. Or we can delete the text run altogether. We also have this style dropdown where we can change our style. 